Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we'll have a little Tron Project Atlas update. Uh, we'll see what my rigs did, their profitability over the last week. And then of course we will pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. See you in a bit. All right, guys, real quick before we get into the Tron news, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell below. Um, this is the uh, day that I picked the winner for Bitcoin Fridays, but don't worry about it. I do this every week. So to be notified when the Enter to Win video comes out, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell, all right? Also, if you guys like the video, smash that thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that as well. All right, Let's see what Tron's doing. All right, so let's check out Tron real quick. Tron's Justin Sun, one day left for an update on the prog progress of Project Atlas. Uh, Justin Sun, the CEO and founder of Tron Foundation, announced that they will be updating the community on Project Atlas tomorrow, the 29th, around 10 a.m. Uh, recently, project lead Justin Null updated the Tron community on the project. Justin Null said that Project Atlas is about connecting BitTorrent with the world's largest open source ecosystem to Tron's blockchain. The project was unveiled by Justin Sun during the launch of the beta version of the Tron virtual machine. The project lead stated that BitTorrent protocol has always had a built-in incentives system. He further stated that the team was looking at ways to add blockchain-based incentives to the protocol. This effort can now be accelerated with the help of Tron expertise in a blockchain space, claimed Justin Null. Furthermore, he spoke about the key features of Project Atlas. Uh, they are faster downloads. Users will be able to choose faster downloads by creating a system where they can bid to accelerate downloads. Uh, I don't use BitTorrent, so I'm not really familiar with uh, how it works. But anyways, more seeds. Uh, at present, users are not incentivized to seed file for a long period of time. However, adding tokens will ensure that users can earn for seeding and create incentives um, for users to dedicate more bandwidth and storage for all along with seeding a file for a longer period. No mining, since Tron does not use the proof of work system, there is no requirement for mining. Project Atlas will, all, will be utilizing a series of BitTorrent protocol extensions. Users can continue to use their current clients as it is compatible with Project Atlas clients. Their clients will be able to download and seed to and from Project Atlas without any required change. In addition, if users uh, choose not to bid and earn tokens for seeding, can choose. Backward compatibility. The project is built on a backward compatible way. This means that the foundation will be able to add support for Project Atlas features. The foundation is planning on adding features to the desktop first and then eventually expand to mobile third-party clients. Moreover, Justin Sun claimed that BitTorrent is the largest application on the Tron network, and this, in turn, would pave the path for Tron to surpass Ethereum in terms of daily transactions. This would also allow Tron to become the most influential public blockchain in the world and would pave the path for 100-plus million users of BitTorrent to hop on the Tron ecosystem. Justin continues, Project Atlas is the foundation for a new way of content distribution. To start, the product will feature faster downloads, more seeds, no mining, and backward compatibility. It is adapted to the world we live in today, mobile, connected, and transparent. We aim to eventually empower all content creators and their communities by eliminating the middleman and enabling content creators to distribute directly to users. In addition, there has been a significant rise in Tron's price. I wouldn't call it significant, but according to corn market cap at press time, the corn is trading at uh, 0 0.022 cents with a market cap of around 1.49 billion. The coin, which is ranking 13th position in the cryptocurrency market, has spiked by 7% in the market in the past 24 hours, placing it amongst the top gainers. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it 7% a spike, but whatever. All right, so let's check out what the rigs did real quick last week. It was a good week. I was up 23% over the previous week. Um, did $28.06. 
Uh, micro Bitcoin 6102, 37.41, 4.29 of Exchange Coin, 446 Elliott Coin, and 1.38 Ethereum Classic. I do have this AMD rig right now mining um, Stellite, and the NVIDIA is doing Micro Bitcoin. Total value mined, we finally broke through the $700 mark, $710.09 total value mined. And to date, we've given away $485 in Bitcoin. So, this week so far, like I said, mining Stellite, got 3,708 Stellite, 1,254 micro Bitcoin. I think I'm going to try and go for 100,000 Stellite coins. Nice, even, uh, decent number. Micro Bitcoin, I don't know. I'll keep mining that and see how it goes, see how the profitability is. But, so we're sitting at 231 so far this week. Value mine is up about $5. All right, so let's get into picking a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. Let me copy this address. Head over to the YouTube comment picker. We will paste it in. All right, let's see how many comments we had. 441 unique comments. Um, again, guys, if you're new here, don't worry. I do this every week. Just make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified. And with that, good luck, everybody. Let's go ahead and pick a winner. We have Lewis Cox. Exchange is super cool. Eh, it's not bad. Let's copy your BTC wallet address. Congratulations, Lewis. Pull up my little wallet. Let me see. Let me see. I think I didn't get the three there. Yep. So let me put the three there. Click send. Make sure that ends in a GN. Yes, it does. And it's off. All right, Lewis, so if you could, be sure to comment below this video and let everyone know that you did, in fact, get the Bitcoin. Um, again, congratulations. And with that, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you um, hit that like button. I would appreciate it. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.